Hey guys, so today I want to compare the Apple iPod Touch 5th generation uh, versus this uh, 3D iPhone 6 prototype uh, which is based on some uh, renderings and some leaks. Uh, so this is a pretty interesting comparison because I got a comment about this and then I got reminded that the, I mean, the key one of the key things that we've been hearing a lot with the rumor about the iPhone 6 is that it's going to be kind of like an iPad Air or like an iPod Touch in terms of its design, way more rounded on, on the sides and everything, and just way thinner in general. Uh, so, uh, iPod Touch here on the right side, so uh, it has a 4 inch uh, screen, I think. Yeah, it should have a four inch screen, I think. Not three and a half inch. Uh, so you can see that this one is pretty thin. It's insanely thin, actually. It's crazy thin. But this just shows that Apple can do this. Apple can do something that is this thin. You can also see it has the um, only sound here on one side, uh, which we've been hearing that Apple might pull that off. You can also take this one out which is probably not going to be a thing that Apple will be focusing on. You can see I've been getting a lot of scratches on this one. So it might be if, if the next iPhone is going to have this material, that might not be the best. Uh, but yeah, let's put them on here. So we heard this rumor about a 4.7 inch iPhone. Um, so this one is 4.7 inch I uh, screen here it would have. Uh, you can kind of see also, as you see here side by side, you can see it's a little bit bigger. And also when we put this one on top, you can also see that uh, there is a difference there in the this low part. And you can also see here the top area. Uh, that's also pretty interesting. But in terms of thickness, they seem to be very, very identical. I mean, very, very identical. And that would be pretty good for Apple because then they know that this is a product they know how to produce. So they probably won't get as much problems. You can see here though, one thing, uh, the iPod Touch doesn't have a power button here on the right side, uh, which is something that we probably will see on the next generation iPhone, according to the leaks and the rumors. You can also see that the camera kind of here sticks out, uh, which is also something that we do see in this little thing dummy mock-up, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, I mean, there's a big difference, but this one doesn't feel super huge. I mean, if we would start to compare this against Android phones, which I actually have done, uh, it's really not that of a big deal in terms of size difference. Uh, the cool things though, as I said there with iPods, is that they are super, super thin. And I'm, I don't really know if they could pull off this with the phone, having all those things, uh, the internal phone parts inside. Uh, but then again, it kind of feels like they can do this, that they can pull this off when they already done it with the iPod Touch. And they, the iPod Touch, they've been doing that for like two or three years now in this kind of design. So they should probably be able to pull off an, uh, an iPhone. Uh, which is very very similar. So just quickly a video talking about that. You can also see here how gaming would be on this one. I mean, it's pretty small. Uh, gaming on this one, way better. Okay, way better. So it's gonna be epic if they will build it. And then also of course we heard it's 5.5 inch iPhone, uh, which could also be even more epic. Uh, so we'll see what's gonna happen with that. So yeah, just quickly a video here. Hopefully you enjoyed. Have a great day.